Hi, this is Maji Noni, and here's a short review for Hack Slash by First Maniac 4 and Uncanny X-Men number 258. I'm just going to do a, sh a review on these because I don't want to spoil too much on this one since this is the last of the uh, story arc, and this really left me unimpressed. I'll do this one first. There's uh, several different stories here. You have uh, Bobby Drake trying to hire a PR agent. And, you know, you follow the same cliché type story or dialogue, which I don't really have that much of a problem with because of it's the X-Men hiring a PR firm. What do you expect? The second is, and the key part of the story, one of the key uh, storylines is Hope and Storm going to Nigeria to find one of the other mutants that triggered on the, the globe. Then there's um, a short with uh, Namor being Namor. And... Emma Frost with Sebastian Shaw, Colossus, and Kate Pride all rolled in one type thing. So, I mean, you do have some story advancing. I thought, again, the art is just horrible. I cannot stand it. Um, just to give you a couple quick examples here. Like, for an example, you have Colossus's arm. I, I mean, I understand, to me, for some reason, because I always imagine Colossus as a big person, the arm doesn't look like it's properly proportioned. It, also, you have, I mean, just like, you can see her expression like that, and like that. It's just bad. Even the fight scene here, uninspiring. I mean, I understand that there's only two pages, and there's only so much you can do, but it's just really uninspiring. The, um, and the one panel that truly got me the most was right here. What type of face is that? Is that like somebody just trying to be lazy and not do their job? Or is this what he really considers acceptable artwork? It's not. It's just bad. I can't even tell what Hope is trying to do there. It's like, did he think that, oh, I need to put another character in this scene? This, this scene wasn't powerful enough with her, you know, causing the fire to come from the ground? Or was that some editor say, well, I'm sorry, you have to have... Hope and Storm in the panel at the same time. So he just threw it in there. Horrible. Horrible. I think the the mutant that they found in Nigeria, now the other two that they found actually had interesting things happen to them. While the Nigerian mutant, it's your basic, you know, she's got these dangerous powers. She killed her family, accidentally killed people. They think she's a witch. They try to kill her. And then Hope comes. Something happens that we don't see which I wish we did because um, every, we got we were able to witness everybody else. So I don't know if they're planning on doing something with her later on. Um, also with the Kitty Pride and the White Queen uh, Emma Frost storyline, you know Emma Frost has that dark secret. Kitty knows what it is because they've been doing a lot of mind melding and you know she's a ghost and she offers assistance to solve her problem. I think if there was a better artist, I would I would really start to appreciate this more. But the artist for me is just so distracting; I can't take it. I just it just it is literally painful for me to um, to go through. Now on the good side, Hex slash My First Maniac Four, I really enjoyed this. The storyline was really good. I thought it moved pretty uh, at a pretty good pace. It did have some twists along the way, which I thought was interesting, and um, overall, I thought it was pretty, pretty uh, entertaining. Uh, the uh, fight scene at the end was pretty good. I thought uh, it really gave, defined who Cassie Hack was, and it gave everybody a good introduction as to who her character was from the very beginning. Uh, the very, it ends basically with. Um, her buddy coming in. So I'm really curious to see where the series is going to go in, in, in going into the future. Um, again, I, I just I really, really, really enjoyed this as a whole. If um, you really like horror, by obviously since it's already at the fourth issue, this, this story arc is done, just buy the trade when it comes out. I know that there's some other hack slash coming out after this one. Definitely buy those if you like the horror uh, comics. I I really wish I jumped on the bandwagon for Hack Slash earlier. 
and I, now I'm just, I mean, granted, I'm just going to get the omnibuses, but this is, this purely was an enjoyment uh, for a horror comic standpoint. It didn't, it took itself seriously, but not seriously enough to uh, make me want to just vomit. You, you know, you know what I mean by that? Like, you know, like you have some comic, some storylines that they think that it's so important. This was, you know, it's a girl who's fighting serial killer monsters. So there's a certain degree of, um, I don't want to say humor, but it, you know, it's taking itself not seriously enough, but the way it's presented, it, it, they do a really good job at developing her character, who she is, what she's about, and uh, goals, I guess you can say. So overall, I really enjoyed it. Highly recommend Hackslash. X-Men, well, you know, if you, only if you must. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, just let me know. Uh, rate the video up or down, subscribe to the channel. Oh, and just give you an idea what the artwork is, since I didn't show that. The artwork is pretty much the same as you saw in the earlier issues here. Uh, it, it's, it's, you know, like, I think the art's decent. It's not the greatest, but I have to admit, I really like the way they added the blood effect on it. Photoshop that in. It's, I thought, I thought it was really, um, it added a unique color to it, I guess you could say. And the fight scene between Cassie and the serial killer is decent for, for what it was. But anyways, um, subscribe to the channel, and uh, if you have any comments or questions, just let me know. And um, until next time.